What's up guys, I'm Andy from 1A Auto. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to remove and reinstall the rear glass latch assembly on this 2012 Ford Escape. If you need parts for your vehicle, click the link in the description and head over to 1AAuto.com. Right, we're gonna open the lift gate. Then we wanna remove these Phillips head screws. Just use a Phillips head screwdriver. Get those out, just gonna Pull down, right here, pull down here. You can use a trim tool to get underneath there. Pull it down a little bit. Uh, it's not gonna come out all the way. I have to release the lift glass right here. Release that, and there's a section right here over this latch. So it kinda needs to push it out. As I push it out, just lift it over. And I can slide this panel right out of the way, just like that. We'll disconnect this electrical connector right here. Just push down on the tab and slide it out. Sometimes it comes out a little difficult. Oh, that's why I was grabbing this piece. So it's just the inside, just like that. Then I'm gonna take a 10 millimeter socket and a ratchet. We'll take these two bolts out. There's one here and one on the other side. Pull that bolt out and I can pull the latch right down. All right, now we're gonna just take this latch Slide it in position, put the 10 millimeter bolts in, one on this side, one on the other side. Snug this up. Now we'll connect the electrical connector, lock it in place. So if you had a problem with this latch and it wasn't unlatching, what you can do is, if the electric part wasn't unlatching, you can actually take a little pick slide it in there, you can release the latch. All right, we wanna take this panel, we wanna slide this part over the latch right here. So with that lift glass open, slide that over. Once that's slid over, and try to get these push, push retainers in. And those are all lined up. Just put these four screws in using a Phillips head screwdriver. All right. Close that. Make sure that's good. Thanks for watching. If you want the parts to do it yourself, check out 1AAuto.com, the place for DIY auto repair.